primary election day eve, the last thing Republican frontrunner Steve Lonigan wants to be doing is answering questions about a tweet that some construed as racist. Or is it? Lonigan called the tweet last week's news and called out the media for keeping the story alive for the sake of political correctness. Cory Booker has been propped up by, look, I'll say it again, the Hollywood elites, whether it's Oprah Winfrey or Barbara Streisand or Steven Spielberg, or the people who run Google or Facebook who handed him a, you know, a business on the way to a Senate race. I mean, these things are things that every New Jersey and every American should be skeptical about. Here's a screen grab of the tweet, which was posted on Thursday and quickly taken down. It shows a map of Newark and identifies it as Mayor Booker's foreign policy, including the scribbled-in names of several African nations. Lonigan wouldn't talk about the tweet specifically today, but said voters know where he's coming from. I come out of the town of Bogota. Uh, this is where my family's from. It's a microcosm of New Jersey. It's a blue-collar community, a very good cross-section of our state. And I was able to win there as a Republican mayor in a town that's basically a two-to-one Democrat town three times. Booker, also way ahead in the polls on the Democratic side, dismissed the controversy today. When folks come together, there's nothing we can't do. Leadership should unite, not divide. Leadership should build up, uh, not seek to destroy with their words. Meanwhile, Republican Alita Eck reiterated today her campaign's position that Lonigan speaks to a small right-wing faction of the party and is no longer a viable candidate. You need to have somebody that's going to represent all the people of New Jersey when you're going to be a U.S. senator. And I think he's um, distanced a lot of people. Governor Chris Christie, whose friendship with Booker is well documented, criticized Lonigan today and said the former Bogota mayor knew the tweet was wrong. I had combat with Steve for months in 2009. Um, Steve never backs away from something, no matter how controversial. Um, so when he ordered that to be taken down, I think that was proof positive of the fact that it was um, inflammatory and completely inappropriate. It seems unlikely that Twittergate will have much impact on tomorrow's results, but many feel it could be a harbinger of things to come once this race gets down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Lonigan says he's fired up for what he calls the race of his life. He says the entire country will be watching October's election, which means more scrutiny of Lonigan's record, positions, and presumably tweets. For NJ Today, I'm David Cruz.